What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Or should I say, fam? So we are back here at the gorgeous lake house on Lake Arlington. And today, we have a Jeep Apocalypse. Now, this isn't just any ordinary Jeep Apocalypse, all right? This is a one-of-a-kind Jeep Apocalypse. This was in the movie, The Lost City, with Angelina Jolie, Channing Tatum, and Daniel Radcliffe. Three, two, one. Here's a trailer for the Lost City. City. Here's a trailer for the Lost City. Screw you, man. Think of me as more than a cover model. Let's start living dangerously. Oh. Alan, what are you doing here? We're here to save you. Oh, no. Loretta Sage is missing. So here's a cold start. This amazing, amazing piece of work is just out of this world. It's just a little bit of specs here for you. This thing is 81 inches tall, 246 inches long, and about 82 inches wide. I'm not good at math, so y'all do the math for me down below. Let me know exactly how long this car is, because it is a six wheel conversion. 6x6, six six, I guess, if you'd call it that. Now, you may be wondering, what kind of power does this thing produce, right? From that cold start, you could tell it's a V8. So this has a LS3 6.2 liter V8 out of a Corvette, right? Now, some of these do come with superchargers, but this one does not, just for the sake of the movie. They were trying to be cost effective and they took off the, they didn't get a supercharger with the LS3, but, 500 horsepower for a truck now you may be saying oh yeah more trucks have more power blah blah blah. but for something this size and like how rigid and agile it kind of is it's it's a good mark 500 is a great mark for this like i said it is a six wheel conversion made by apocalypse uh, these wheels are massive like I, I don't even know the size of these it's a 40 1550 r22 like the size of the wheel is almost as tall as my car like that's just insane and then now we're just gonna walk through some of the things the small details about the car that you might miss on the street if you're just looking at it from afar So it does have a full bed cover, it slides all the way up, there is a 360 kind of like night vision security camera, obviously it's a fully working truck as you can see we got ratchet straps and bags and ropes in here, smoked out little tail light, let me see if I can get this on camera real quick, yep you see that? So it's got two separate bars, a brake and reverse light here, smoked out, looks really sick. It's got dual exhaust pipes, basically a straight pipe all the way from the motor back. Tow hitch, you know, you got a truck, so why not use it? On the back, it's just, it says apocalypse in all black, it looks pretty sick. And the whole entire car is coated in like this Rhino Linex thing just to uh just to protect it you know and then on the subframe you can tell this is where they kind of like welded it did some fabrication work i don't know if it's showing up yeah right there and then the suspension is kind of like a hybrid air slash spring technology because obviously they extended the entire bed of the truck by like four to five inches so they did a lot of fabrication work you can tell and this, this is my favorite feature right here the step down because when your seat is four feet off the ground <laughs> you, you kind of need a step bar right and then we'll get more into the interior in a second so there, there again you can see the apocalypse logo 
cool little halo lights with the super super aggressive front and grill yeah that thing is just mean and then obviously you got tow hooks in the front you have that electric winch i don't know the exact capacity of the winch but it can pull your car out if you're stuck and again we have the fog lights here full leds basically all around solid car and then for these panels the side panels obviously these didn't come with the car so they basically just cut up the whole entire car they took off the the bed and then they just extended it you know more on the engine bay it's got a K&N cold air intake with some custom aluminum tubing that leads straight into the intake manifold into this LS3 right there LS3 6.2 liter V8 from a Corvette other than that that's pretty much it for the engine bay because obviously when you're working on something like this you want to keep it simple you don't want to overdo it because the car the car is already like over the top it's a crazy crazy car like look at the size of these control arms and axles and then you know obviously the suspension you know, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of fabrication done to this car. And I'll drop the hood in a second to see the full thing. But this is the Apocalypse branding logo. You know, obviously the 6x6. The mushroom cloud to show the Apocalypse. Now, for those of you who don't know, almost all Jeeps close with this latch. Give me a second. Give me a second. right here there is a latch so what you do is you're gonna push down the hood pop this out same thing to close it it'll pop up into that little uh, hook you snap it into place same thing for the other side you know because when you're off-roading I don't know if you'd off-road in this car but you don't want mud to get into the hood latch and you know when you pull it it won't open so this is just simplicity from Jeep you know obviously if you wanted to you could take off the hood the doors the roof we got a little light bar on top again if you're at, driving at night obviously don't use these on public roads but yeah Jeep makes it very accessible if you want to go off-roading in any vehicle now for the interior of the car it is mostly leather except for the roll cage you know uh, all the columns and the necessary parts for an actual car so it's got diamond double stitched diamond pattern all throughout the car all throughout the car and it's basically a jeep gladiator on the inside inside is almost the exact same except for the custom like leather work and you know the the big old screen i'll show you in a second so yeah on the inside you have the apocalypse logo on the steering wheel um the doors basically the same jeep doors you know uh pull to open little cargo room there lock unlock windows uh, but for those who don't know on jeeps i think on most jeeps that have removable doors you open the windows here to the center column and the people in the back can't open their windows and on the apocalypse we have this really really big screen i'll show you right here this screen is absolutely massive is it gonna show me there you go yeah startup has the apocalypse symbol um we have all the different driving systems here 4h 6h neutral 6l for off-roading land whatever uh, we have grab bars there for the passengers another grab bar there grab bar in the rear on the roof here we have speakers and lights for the people in the back but on this one on the on the screen you have your obviously your um, entertainment system navigation radio um, the video is for the camera I don't really know how to work it um, Bluetooth calls, phone link, you know, all that fun stuff. All your climate controls are here on the side. I don't know if it shows you, but... You can hear it's got a very, very strong AC. 
Um, but yeah, it's a very, very solid car. Um, the prices of these are from, I don't know, 80,000 to 120. Uh, but like I said earlier in the intro, this car is a one of a kind because it was on the Jay Leno show. I'll insert a clip right here. With being on the show, he did sign a custom license plate to prove that this was the actual car on this show. And I'll insert another picture of that right here. This car also has RGB, I don't know if you call them RGB, but they're LED lights, halo lights. As aside from the actual headlights in here, there's two. And then we got the full light bar here. Under each rear well, wheel well, there's RGB lights. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's lights under here too on the steps. Uh, some in the back as well, you can see slightly on my hand. Sorry, I'm rushing this, my battery's dying. Uh, obviously, sits five or driver plus four. Uh, honestly, lots of headroom and leg space. Uh, enough talk, man. Uh, let's go take this bad boy off for a spin. Now, now I showed you what it sounds like on the outside. I gotta top in this thing real quick. <laughs> Let me show you what it sounds like from the inside. Are you ready for this? Ooh, baby. Now, obviously, maneuvering this thing is not easy because it is, I think, like 20 feet, nearly 21 feet long. So, uh, yeah. Thankfully, the back of or the mirror, reverse mirror, is digital. And there's also a camera camera in the back of the car. 
we weren't used to seeing six wheels, uh, almost, I guess, like eight feet tall, seven feet tall. Uh, yeah, uh, Texas is known for big, but they're not used to six wheels. So whenever I'm out there, whenever I'm driving, or whenever the car is being driven, people tend to stay behind in the lane, like two lanes across, or you know, they just they don't want to get near because they don't want their car to get hurt, and then they also don't want this car to get hurt because obviously when you see a car like this, you think, oh, that's a lot of money, blah blah. blah. So like people rarely pass you unless you're like on the highway and there's more than like four lanes, you know, but yeah, I was just at the, at the gas station, dude asked me like what kind of car is this he's never seen it before, uh, and I was like, hey, it's just a Jeep, man, he's like, no, no effing way, bro, like, it's not just Jeep, I'm like, yeah, it's just a Jeep, they just threw on two extra wheels, lifted it, stuck a V in it, he's like, fool, that's a whole different car, I was like, I mean, it's just a Jeep at, at the end of the day, because it, it drives like every other car, it, it's just really tall, really wide, you know, you feel, you feel kind of American driving this car, you know what I mean, because Americans created LS, uh, one of the best motors on the planet, and they stuck it in uh, another American car, the Jeep, you know, so, it, this car is just amazing, um, it, it drives, it handles, uh, obviously, you, you don't want to do stupid stuff with this, because you don't know, you know how expensive it's going to be. Uh, we're, we're just going for a little cruise right now, uh, following the speed limit as always. Just sounds really loud. Obviously, with this car, you saw you saw earlier in the, uh, the outside review, um, the tires are very massive. So when you're when you're going a decent speed, that noise you hear is actually the tires on the floor rubbing. You know, um, obviously, if it was a normal car or if this car had an exhaust system. amazing beast of a car the Jeep Apocalypse 6x6 six six. obviously 
actually not obviously let me know down below if you would dish out a hundred K for this um, the actual cost that he paid was two hundred thousand not only because it was a movie prop but just for you know obviously the rights to it the the contracts you know uh, state of ownership from I think Universal was the one who made the movie it's been a while since I've seen it but yeah let me know would you would you pay six figures for this monster of a truck because honestly just look at that but yeah thank you guys so much for watching there will be more car content on the channel so stay tuned if you're into cars or if you just like to support your boy you know because i know some of y'all most actually most of y'all watching this right now are from high school i knew from high school so thank y'all for the support don't forget to leave a like a subscribe you know maybe hit that bell share this video with someone who you know may not know what kind of a car this is or even yourself you know send it to your your mom dad grandma grandpa uncles cousins second cousins you know all that stuff thank y'all peace